Hello, friends, family, distant relations, random people on the internet. Yeah, it's been a while since I posted anything. Half of that on account of due to the fact that we've moved to another apartment. Uh, we don't have crazy neighbors anymore. The ones upstairs are actually louder than we are now, so awesomeness. Uh, we are rather happy of that. But, um... Yeah, uh, in all actuality, it's, uh, good. Everything is good here. Um, and, uh, another reason I haven't really posted anything is because I haven't had a lot of time. But, uh, enough of the excuses. Uh, so, the, uh, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. Uh, you know, I, I kind of promised to myself that I was gonna at least finish the entirety of Baldur's Gate 1. I said to myself, no, I, I watch other Let's Players and I'm like, I mock them, I scorn them, I see the way they are doing, like, Let's Plays on, like, 15 games at once, and I'm like, ah, I am better than that, I will never do that. Well, here I am, guess what, we're doing that. I understand now. Um, you know, doing the same game on a Let's Play is great. It's fun. But it really stalls. It really makes it hard to just keep putting out the same videos over and over and over again. Because you start recording yourself and you're like, wow, even I'm starting to sound boring to myself. Even I can pick out the stuff that I'm just repeating over and over again. It's like, well, you know, I don't know. It's just... Eh. You can only comment on the same thing for so long. You need a little bit of a break, and I understand now. I, I am sorry, my fellow Let's Players. I, I will not mock you anymore. Multiple games being done makes sense to me now. Because, I mean, overall, you'll just put out more videos. So anyway, friends, that is exactly what we're going to be trying to do here. We're just going to be trying to put out some more videos. Um, you know, because, like, today, I have two hours here. Um, and... I just uh, basically have some time, uh, you know, that I can record, and I'm, and I'm just like, you know what, I don't want to pull out Baldur's Gate, I don't want to try and, like, sit there, wait an hour for the thing to load, it doesn't really take an hour, but I swear on my laptop sometimes it feels like it, but, you know, it's just, just setting the whole thing up, and, and then working so hard with the dice rolls, and, like, getting killed every two seconds, I just... God, did not feel like dealing with it. And as you can see, actually, in a couple of my episodes, uh, I think about 101 through 106, which I might not have posted by the time you watch this. I might have them posted. I don't know. But you can see I I'm dying in them, and I I'm not, not, like, not even caring anymore. I'm just going back and resurrecting people when they die. Because, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I When I saw that, I said, yes, it's good. People need to see that I fail just as much as they do, and that that makes the Let's Play more real, but... At the same time, I'm like, it bogs down the, the Let's Play just a little bit, um, you know, and it just makes things look a little bit sloppy, and in a way they are, but darn, those ank eggs are hard. But anyway, um, so yeah, uh, we're actually, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a, uh, it, um, well, I'm going to be getting a little bit more information on what we're going to be doing, uh, I'm not making much sense, but anyway, uh, all right, let's get to the chase. So we needed a quick game. Uh, wow. Oh no, don't freeze. Okay, we gotta wait for my computer to load now. Um, okay, there we go. But uh, kind of lost my lost my train of thought. What well, we're gonna be doing a nifty little game uh, today called Dibs Dilemma. Dibs Dilemma was actually made by randomthoughts.net. Don't be confused, it's not randomthoughts.com, it's randomthoughts.net. Oh, and I remember what I was actually going to be saying uh, earlier. It was that uh, we I won't be splitting this up in episodes. I'm just going to try and record the whole thing all at once, and I'll just try and split it off at a good point. Maybe I'll make a stopping point every 20 or 30 levels, I'm not quite sure. But, uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll be, that's how this will be set up. Hopefully it'll make it, things a little more fluid. Won't have to have me butting in every two seconds saying, Oh, welcome, friends, to episode blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, it's kind of like a calling card, but boy, it even annoys me. Anyway, okay, time to herald randomthoughts.net. Oh, I guess they're called Random Thoughts Entertainment now. Wish you were here. But anyway, randomthoughts.net. I love this site. I found this site once when back when back when dial up was the thing back when dial up was all there was i mean i'm sure there was actually other more advanced forms of internet but you know to the masses dial up was as good as it got probably when i was like 7 or 8 i found this website it must have been like pretty much right when it started but anyway i uh played random games online you know searching for free ones and stumbled upon this site 
I love this site. This site is just amazing. I mean, okay, let me t let me just say why it's amazing. It's because it's put together by people. I, I I don't I haven't really done much research into it. I think it's run by someone named Ed Grass and a couple other people. I'm I'm sorry, randomthoughts.net. Please don't um you know, don't kill me here. But uh, they, they, they put out games every once in a while, very, very slowly. And the games they put out are not like state-of-the-art, like blow-your-mind awesome. But I love them because they're made with such heart, such soul, and such passion. It really has always made me happy to play pretty much every game that they've made. I mean, some of their games, I'll admit, they're broken. Or they don't work right. Or they lag. or Not, not lag, but they freeze up halfway through the game. And you know what? That's really okay with me for a couple reasons. First off, they aren't money hogs. In fact, they aren't they aren't after your money at all. I mean, you know, and I don't get me wrong. I get on Congregate all the time. And you know, advertisements they have to happen. That's how you get your games. But I mean, these people have such passion in what they do that they they never uh, there are no advertisements, no pop-ups. I mean, I really feel like these people are like, you know, your best friend just sitting there making great games just for the satisfaction of your enjoyment. It just, it really makes me happy to see that there are still some people out in the world making games like this. I re this is how I felt like Baldur's Gate was made. You know, when they made Baldur's Gate 1, I really felt like they were making the game for your happiness. Um, but anyway, so yeah, all credit due to Random Thoughts uh, Entertainment and uh, wherever it needs to go. This is the homepage. You get a little funny quote, I don't know, it's random, I haven't read them all, but it looks like this one says, If I look like I'm, in, uh, I'm angry and in a bad mood, I'm probably not, so don't ask me if I am. If I am... I certainly don't want you putting in, okay. But anyway, um, so yeah, uh, they, they, uh, let's just actually jump right into the site here and quit bantering. Um, they make a lot of games, or well, I mean, they have quite a few games for, uh, for, as far as I can understand, they, they make everything with Java, so they, it's a little bit harder as far as I understand of a computer programming language to deal with because, Okay, so uh, as far as I understand it, it's binary. Binary is like strict, straight-up computer code. Your your computer doesn't have to translate it. But Java, the way it kind of works is like it translates. Okay, so Java is like a language, so your computer has to like read it, translate it, and then translate it into their language and then display it. So it has to do more work when it runs. And wow does my internet lag when I'm recording, but anyway, I, I promise you, I'm not running on caveman computer, it never takes like this long, but, so, yeah, all their games are run in Java, which back in the day, do you guys remember bonus.com, or, I, I, it's, that's the only one I'm remembering right now, it's just bonus.com, there was a bunch of web uh, websites gave these chintzy, like, free games that were just fun for us as kids to play, um, I just remember back a when when uh, Java was what it was. It wasn't. It was Shockwave. Shockwave and Java were what you saw the games made in. Nowadays, everything's Flash. And and as far as I understand, I suppose Flash is actually better. You know what Java is or or Shockwave, and they're just like what you know. And back in the day, it was everyone friends knew what it was. So anyway, here we are on the game page. I as since my computer's loading so slowly, I don't think I'm gonna uh, venture past uh, this page. Sorry, randomthoughts.net. I really did want to show off your site, but uh, my computer's being retarded. So anyway, apparently, I mean, I haven't been here for probably like five years, to be honest. I, I just randomly on a whim remember that it was here. But so here we go. Uh, welcome to the Random Thoughts game page. This page is, yeah, okay, we're not going to read that. But apparently they're, the newest game they've came out with is called Crossfire Dungeons. I haven't really played it. I don't I, I don't know if it's uh, a spinoff of Mercenaries of Dozebor or uh, anything like that. But they, they're, they're big on fantasy uh, RPG and strategy. Uh, that's probably where their best games are, are from. Oh, and another thing, the, another reason why I love their games is because their games are actually difficult. You know, they're not afraid to put a little bit of difficulty in their game. So anyway, uh, Rex the Red, The Adventures of Rex the Red here, was actually the first game that I played on their site, and I fell in love with it and beat it uh, without saving, which is really hard to do. The reason you had to do it without saving is because I think that was, like, 
back then that was the one thing they asked for is you could buy the actual CD or something, but I don't really know. Um, so as you can see, here are all their fantasy games. They have a couple of science fiction games. Not going to lie, some of them, like I remember Hover Tanks was pretty broken, uh, but I just kind of played around with it for fun. Mainly it's the fantasy games that I play. So, like I said, not a huge selection of games, but it's not meant to be. They just make games for fun and you play them.